What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new episode here at the Koi Partner. Last October I made a number of episodes about Jumbo Koi who came from the Mappan. You can watch these episodes if you click on the link at the end of this video that already appear in the right upper corner right now. So in this episode I explain why Koi grows so fast in a natural mud pond. I show you different footage of Koi breeders, how they do it in Japan. Before a Koi can reach this size, they stay in the mud pond for some seasons. So let's start at the beginning. In the summer the temperatures in Niigata rise very high. Well, in the winter huge amounts of snow fall. An ideal combination for growing Koi. Let me explain why. It is now mid-February and the breeders are selling their one-year-old koi to their customers from all around the world. During this time of the year, the breeders can do little work outside. In winter, up to 4 meters of snow can fall in this area. Niigata also has one of the most popular ski areas in Japan. Inside, the work continues and the breeders slowly prepare for the new koi season. During the months of March and April, the meters of snow that has fallen into the empty mud ponds are slowly melting. During the spring, the mud ponds fill with fresh and ice cold meltwater. When the sun warms up the water, the breeders can start preparing for the first koi in their mud ponds. First, the breeders are releasing the smallest koi and after that they release the larger ones. There can sometimes be weeks or even months in between. The reason? Smaller fish can do more against the temperature fluctuations during the first spring months than, of course, the bigger koi. During the hot summer months, the fish grow very fast. In addition to feeding koi food, the koi make optimal use of the many natural food sources such as shrimps, frogs and other high protein foods. But there's another reason why this koi grows so fast in a natural mud pond. Higata Prefecture is known for its rich clay soils. The large presence of minerals and vitamins ensure that the koi can develop optimally. A supply of fresh water and you have created the ideal growing environment for a fish. It is now October for every dealer and breeder exciting times. The fish that were allowed to grow in the mud pond have grown enormously depending on their age. The younger the fish are, the more the growth they get. When the goy gets older, they grow at a slower pace. From all around the world, dealers and hobbyists came to see which results their fish and those of the breeders have achieved. A whole happening where it is quite a party to see the koi of very high quality at their very very best. After the nets against predators and bears and according to its removed starts catching the fish. A precise job where a mistake produces the same extra work. Time that the breeders desperately need during the harvest season. When all the fish are caught they go to the greenhouses. Here all the fish are checked for the length, quality and health. The fish are also offered here for sale. If they are not sold, they will continue swimming in their winter, waiting for a new potential owner. So if you want to have some tips on how you can quickly grow your koi in your pond, please comment below, ask me your question and I will answer it as soon as possible. So the upcoming minutes you can see some few of my own fishes that are transformed over the years during their Azugari projects. Just enjoy! <laughs>
min kakel. En hij lijkt dan ook, als je goed kan zien, is het patroon super goed gebleven. En ja, je kan zien hoe scherp die de gin erin erop ligt. Dat is bizar. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Please put a thumb up and thank you for watching. See you next time.